Vlogs are greetings, gratitude, blessings and blessings. Ascension Star Family. My divinity to yours. Welcome if you're new. Welcome back if you're returning. Thank you for all your love, your light and support, your appreciation, participation, your hearted comments. Importantly, is our collective united light. Please do join me in prayer for peace on earth. Creator Divine, Supreme and Sovereign, Mother and Father of Light, of all that is. From within your bosom, we've been created. In your likeness, your heartness, descend on this earth, as expressions of yourselves and the beauty, the bounty, we have come to be one, we have come to also have fun, to be part of the land, the air, the water, the sun. In your grace and embrace, all tenderness exists. In creatures large and small, Help facet us to shine, divine. Take our rough and turn it fine. Touch our hearts, teach us. Lead us, guide us, pride us. Let us be strong. To come along with you. To a world that's brand new. Each and every day we thank you, we pray, we say, in the oneness and the wellness, in the kindness and mindfulness, from the start in our heart that your power in every hour that peace that love that light will shine bright upon all on earth and so it is thank you thank you thank you a message for all listening spirit our beautiful family that we've come together we meet and we greet in your seat of love light of ascension protecting us connecting us to one another
Am I focused on what I want most? One reason so few of us achieve what we truly want is that we never direct our focus, we never concentrate our power. Most people dabble their way through life, never deciding to master anything in particular. The sole action is, what you focus on grows. Today, ask yourself, is my life a reflection of my values or do I need to make adjustments? Prioritise. Where intention goes, energy flows. This is the a message from the law of attraction. What you invest in will reinvest in you. What you put out there boomerangs back to you. So be clear. Be sincere. And use every hour in divine power to create your heart's desire. Thank you, Spirit. And a blessing, please. We are always blessed. Got a message will help us at this time. A blessing of faith. A blessing of faith, regardless of what the external appearance is, the circumstances are, the situations are, it is important that you hold your faith, that you keep in faith, of faith, for faith, from faith. And it is faith. The message is in fact the blessing of the earth. But when I closed my eyes, I saw the word faith. And it is only now that I've opened it to see that it is a blessing of earth and not faith. But the message is to hold your faith for the blessing of the earth. Your faith. In everything. All right, so she touches, Spirit says, she touches the tree. And that is her faith in the earth, which is a representation of the tree that represents earth. So the faith must come from you to have the faith in the earth. Because the tree is a living being. It's an energy, it's got vibration and can help you like the tree has faith to endure the flooding, the drought, the different seasons. You too must have faith to endure the blessings on earth and to be the blessing on earth. Thank you. All right, so we are on the 2nd of October, 2024. 2.10.8 becomes 2.18.11. Master number. The number of the justice card in Major Arcana. And if we reduce that to the two, we have the High Priestess. Secret knowledge and wisdom. The power. The feminine divine. So what's happening? Deep and dark secrets are surfacing for justice at this time, for balancing, for fairness in the 10th month of Libra, which is about justice. The Roman numeral of the High Priestess is 
the 11, or what appears to be like the 11. So either way, there's no escape. I am reading as requested on the conflict, the war that's happening in the Middle East. And when I was planning this reading, preparing for a better word, I was told war is for profit. And what I will, I've made a few points of the channeling that Spirit gave, the messages that were coming through. And the first point was war is for profit. And that is the truth. It may surprise many of you, but that is the purpose of war. It's for profit, for gain. It is selfish. It is dark. One will win while the other will lose. What I'm being given is a seesaw. We pick up a nation while we drop another. And that is how it, uh, how it is earned. We profiteer while we profiteer. What is a dark pleasure? It is an excitement. It is a celebration of darkness. It brings great pleasure to the ones that are whining and dining. Whilst others are suffering. It is an orgy of fear. Chaos, crisis. Of course, it is global destruction. With that profit and pleasure, of the suffering of another. It is destruction, for it is a loss of life, livelihood, a loss of earnings of the simple and the humble. Their entire life blows up in front of them. It is for power and position. The oppressors over the oppressed. It is having one's foot at one's throat and taking the pleasure in the beg for life, for freedom and the final breath. War divides and separates. It is the dark approach to solving any problem. In most cases, there was no problem to begin with. Problems were created to start a war. Blowing up a country and its people. The pain, the loss, the homelessness and starvation. Does this in any way solve problems? Does it not create more? So how does one think? 
that a war could actually solve a problem. That we must kill the enemy. Who created the enemy? Who is the enemy? Why is there an enemy? And you wonder why people flee their countries to settle wherever they can find some peace. And we call them illegal immigrants. Well, there are genuinely some that are capitalising on that opportunity. But for the most part, people are trying to live, to survive, to save themselves and their families. They are desperate because they've been put in the most grave slaughtering and satanic situations. Taking life so easily, so freely, so casually, is that not illegal? Is that a pleasure? Is that solving a problem that your world seems to think it is? There is absolutely no light in any conflict. Going to war, staying in one, there is no light even in a simple argument. So hearted ones, we witness what many of you only hear about in every moment of this planet's sink into darkness. Up in arms, ready for battle, proud to go on the field to blow up people, homes, farms, the country, and to come back with chivalry and to celebrate a win, a victory. It is senseless. It is satanic. It is a ritual taking place on earth by the forces of dark, right on the surface and below it, and above it where you do not even know it started from. We ask you today not to fall prey to the media coverage about this situation. We ask you to take your worry, your concerns, and transform it into light and healing. And utilize that energy to send the light and the love to all of the land, the country, the people, the entire situation. And be the light extinguishers like a fire extinguisher that puts out the blaze. You are the light brigade. Go and put out the dark in your thought, your intentions, your visions. We have created portals on the planet, this channel, and a lot of you 
Ascension Star Portals. We have prepared her for these times as we are preparing you who will join her in many ways that you do not even comprehend at this time. And you will join all of us at the same time. This is what duty is about. Being a light warrior, a torch bearer of the light. Not sitting back and watching the darkness take action, but with unconditional love. Do not be trapped in the enslavement of their fear. War is a distraction. It is purposed. It is to keep a momentum going on your planet because too much still brings too much peace and too much peace puts you in your divine spirit and the dark does not want you there. So it robs you of it. It steals your peace and converts it into conflict and war and crime so that you take your focus and put it there. You just received a message about focus and to prioritize not so. Did you think we gave you that message by coincidence? We didn't. I shall ask for that message to be repeated now. One reason so few of us achieve what we truly want is that we never direct our focus, we never concentrate on our power. Most people dabble their way through life, never deciding to master anything in particular. Your sole action is what you focus on grows. Today, ask yourself, is my life a reflection of my values or do I need to make adjustments, prioritise? So we are saying to focus on what you truly want, a better world. Prioritise your power to that focus. So in essence we are saying do not switch on your television or your phones and say, Oh my God, so much more. When will it stop? How will it stop if you keep on focusing on the problem? That's what they want. Do you not see that? The longer you invest and tune in, you are raising the statistics so they know it is being watched, it is powered, and you are giving them the power to continue. If you stop watching, it dies off. Not so. So stop watching. Take back your power and send light to stop this war. Disempower their power and reclaim yours. The reason they keep you distracted and take away your peace is because they've got to keep a certain population manufacturing the arms in business. They've also got to keep the medical infrastructure going in order to help save the ones that can be saved, hospitalized, on treatment. So they've got to keep that industry going. Above that, 
they've got to keep the media running. Because how will they get the news of fear to you? You've got to see it to believe it. As we have said before, a lot is exaggerated, contrived, created. AI is not new. The technology that's coming to you now has been around for a long time. It's been used by the shadow government for decades. You only see the advancement now because we have officially shifted in the advancement of the age of technology. But you were supposed to be much more advanced than what you are now. But that's not the topic. I encourage you to utilise your life for the greater good of the planet. And if you want peace, it is your responsibility to help create it. You too have been warriors on the battlefield and creators of darkness and destruction in previous timelines. Thankfully, you are now awake. Help awaken others. I shall return you to the channel to continue the reading. Thank you, Spirit. Our reading today was about the war, but I think a lot of the message would have come through in the channel that Spirit has given. We have the Nine of Wands, and we see the blood, the battle, the conflict, the struggle, the burden, the difficulties, and the action taking. to execute the actions that are unjust. Causing a lot of injury, a lot of death. A number nine, nine of swords, another nine. How much more can the planet take? It is mentally wrecking. It is stressful for everyone. It must stop. We can't do this anymore. It's the cry of help. Let's make peace. Let's come together. Let's do this in a partnership of solution, resolution, a resolve to solve. Let's rebuild the community and stop the dark plotting and planning. Let's take back our country, our people, our virtues and rebuild life in prosperity. We'll do one more. Death. Death. We have more death from war than we have it from anything else. People that pass on medical facilities or not do not all die of a chronic illness. They die deaths from sadness and grief and suffering and stress and fear and the burdens that are thrust upon them from war, from being victimised. Unjust death unnatural deaths.
tell us what we need to know that has not been told or you need to remind us. Make the right choice. Stop believing everything you're being told or shown. Make the right choice and it starts in your consciousness. Which side will you support? The dark or the light? This is about humanity's choice. All those that are listening you are required to share this message to all those that live in fear, in victim and poverty, that are stressed and worried about not just a war, but life in general. You are fueling the wrong side because that's where you're stuck and limited. That's where they want to keep you constricted. You were given free will for a reason. And this is when you are supposed to utilize your free will to exercise light, to separate it from dark, not to go and break the bank and say, oh, I worked hard for it, so I will have it. That's free will for luxury. And that is superficial. It is temporary. We are asking you to use the free will that we have given you as part of your life contract because it is meant to make righteous choices, decisions and not the superficial ones. So we are asking you to respect the power of your free will, of choices, decisions. was too many. Nine of Cups. Contentment and fulfillment, the happiness, the joy, the positivity, the prosperity. That's what you should be striving for. But not strife and struggle to get there. It should come seamlessly and effortlessly because your heart is yours it's not another's we share our heart we share our life we share our emotions but you own it it's yours fill it with unconditional love and share it freely it's that simple it is that simple. Being happy is not being robed in precious stones and um, the most expensive cloth. Being happy is being in your heart space, living from your heart space and sharing from there. It is simple. It doesn't cost anything. So switch on your heart as the television. Switch on your heart as you would the media and fill it with love. Share it, spread it. That's what we're asking. And you will change what is happening on your planet. You will change it without taking any action that is physical or external. Claim your power.
the six of coins. Generosity, charity, humanity. That's what you need to do. Think of others and send them love and light. If you have the financial resources or any other resource that can be shared to those that are needed, you are called to do so. Because where we are going in the 5D consciousness, you will not need it. You will be leaving a lot of all of that behind. Because you will have the power to manifest. Because we are returning to sovereign beings. Stop accumulating and acquiring material pleasures that you will not need. It is time now to share it with others. Cleanse and purify it so it does not leave with your energy but your love. Behind that was the next four cards that I am being asked to fight, keep. The Queen of Pentacles. This is returning Earth to her sovereignty, her galactic cosmic status, the wealth, the positivity, the prosperity. Not just financial wealth, but spiritual wealth and abundance for all on earth. To live abundantly, to be kind and generous and sharing and caring and giving, to be charity, humanity, community, divinity, spirituality. This is the language of the channel. And we will keep repeating it. So it gets in there, within you, in your blood, in your cells. And that's what we want you to vibrate at. That's what 5D is about. It all comes together. It's all pieces of the puzzle, as you would say, the puzzle. But it's not puzzling. You just make it puzzling. It's simple. Judgment. You call for judgment, for justice, for fairness and truth. It is here. It's always been here. You just didn't know how to utilize it and how to bring it about. Well, not all of you, but the majority on this planet do not know that they have the power Justice is not someplace out there. It's right here. Utilize your energy to serve justice. And the energy that serves justice is light. You don't understand it yet in its entirety, but it's light. Because where light goes, it illuminates. It shows nothing that is the opposite of light can exist. And that's what you want, not so the truth. So where light goes, the truth is revealed. To so send light, to extinguish the darkness, to stop the injustice, to stop the untruth. That's what you do. That is how you judge with light, 
You don't say to the light, go out there and kill everybody that is dark. That's what we're asking you. We are saying to you, utilize the light to bring for the higher and greater good, the truth, the justice and divine judgment. That's all you need to do and hold the intention and visualize the world as the Queen of Pentacles, Mother Earth. The Queen of Pentacles. But you are needed. Free will does not allow us in the higher dimensions to intervene without your permission. And we still only do so once you have realized your power and we support you. We don't do it for you. We do it with you. We help you. And we've always said that you are never alone. And it is true, you are never alone. However, you wish to do things on your own. And we watch you, we observe you, and you repeat the mistakes, but we are putting in front of you many, many, guidances and guardians to help you but you wish to wear what you call blinkers and remain in a box and do it about your way and so we step back and respect that but nonetheless we keep trying and we put things in your path hoping that you will find it, or see it, or realize it, or hear it. You see, when you ask for help, you've got to prepare yourself to find it. You cannot ask for help in this moment and then look around you and there's no help and say, but you're not helping me. We are. The first things we do is get into your thoughts. We whisper in your mind, in your consciousness, in your ears, so that you can hear us. But how many of you do? So you see, we say, quieten your mind. Become aligned and centered. Why do we ask you? Because. We want to talk to you, communicate with you. The tower, the destruction, the unexpected upheavals, the challenges and the difficulties that humanity is dealing with not just in one place, but all over the world, within themselves, their mental crisis, emotional crisis, physical crisis, health crisis, financial crisis. There is crisis everywhere. We have told you that the shift is not a comfort zone. It is discomforting what you've been so comforted by, comfortable with. And we are restructuring everything. We're realigning everything. So yes, buildings will fall. Walls will come down. Literally. And metaphorically. But you are seeing it, aren't you? But we have warned you, haven't we? We've cautioned you. A better word. We have brought you enough information, not through this channel only, but through others. Use your discernment and feel the messages. Is there truth in it? What is the message? How can I prepare?
Messages from light are non-judgmental. They come with love, with guidance, with assurance to enlighten you, prepare you, let you understand the importance and significance of to help you your free will, beloved ones, children of our planet, is your power, your superpower. Our very first message on the spread is to choose with your higher consciousness. Which team are you on? Which side would you support? There are no sides, it is an illusion, but for the purpose of letting you understand the polarity, the duality, one opposes the other. So expect more conflict and difficulties and challenges because what you are experiencing in your world is not going away easily or anytime soon from what we see that is taking place. But if you help us, we can harmonize and diffuse the situation better. Well, you are doing it and we are helping you. Every time this world has tried to attain a level of spirit, of light, of peace, it has always faced destruction. But again, destruction is restructuring. But those times, the light was not on your planet. In the vibration it is now, and therefore a lot is sped up. You now have the power of your voice, freedom to speak. And that's what the oppressors do not like. So you have the power to stop the destruction. You do. They want more chaos. They want to crash the economic systems. Because that is what is being planned. Economic crash. So that money is removed, wealth is removed, and you will sink into poverty. And how will that happen? Because food cannot be transported because there will be a shortage. And it will be too dangerous to export and import. And there will be restrictions put on that because of war. And they cannot cross waters, borders, etc. So, it will get worse before it gets any better. But, do not fear. You are the light bearers, you are chosen. It is important that you anchor the light. We cannot lose the hope, the faith, the trust in our work. Because we are holding up for others. We are the poles that are keeping the roof on. What is happening will happen. What you choose to do about what is happening can also happen.
the Ten of Swords. And we have the Seven of Cups. At the bottom of the deck is the Eight of Swords in reverse. Right, in the upright. That is agony of the mind. Your, the mind control, the mental enslavement, the programming that humanity has been trapped in is now being reversed, being stopped being prevented and minimized in many instances. Continue to do that, to allow it. This is what needs to be done in which for all of you to come back into your senses, your alignment, your divine senses, your divine alignment, your divine consciousness, your pure mental activity and thought so that you are able to use discernment and judgment positively. And that's what our goals are. And I shall leave that here. Towers will bring a lot of destruction because a lot of it is being played out by the dark. But you must choose wisely to stop that with light. We did say it will get worse before it, get, it gets better. But again, there are potentials. There are potentials that that does not have to reach that level. Do not give in to the disillusion and the illusions not just of your mind, but your heart. Yes, we are human in nature and there's compassion in a lot of us. And when we see something painful, it affects us. Let your heart generate the power of light, of compassion to heal not to feel fear. Through the portals, send light. To the people, send light. To the land, send light. The air that's receiving so much pollution from the firing of ammunition that is restricting oxygen Think of all of this when you are sending light. Create the air filters we've given you. The method to do that, to purify the air. The water. The food supplies. Beloved ones, we will end this transmission. But before we go, we wish to thank you for being the anchors. We wish to thank you for being the bearers that are holding the torch, lighting the way for others. Many of you will take on very different roles in 5D consciousness. Many of you are just beginning the journey as healers. Many of you that have wanted to be in service, divine assignments and divine projects will be called to serve. In 5D, there will still be a lot of work at the very onset that will need to be done 
to those that will come into that vibration very new and less prepared because although we'll be in 5d consciousness there will be different levels within the consciousness some just awakened others intermediate, advanced, super advanced. So there are different levels, different layers. It's like going up through an escalator or an elevator to the higher floors of the same building. So the consciousness is the same building but they are different levels. So you will be called to help. And consider this as part of your training, your grooming, your advancement. You chose to be here to do this. Remember who you are. You can do it. You are loved and blessed endlessly. Thank you. Till next.